Hi you guys, welcome to Rockwood Terrace. This is a three bed, three bath home. It's 3,300 square feet and it's located on a 13,000 square foot lot. It's at the bottom of Triangle Mountain. There's a park right across the street and I'm gonna give you a virtual tour so that you can go over it again and again and again and if you like it, uh, you can make a decision about what you wanna do. Okay, so first I'll show you the neighborhood and then we'll go through a tour of the house. Okay, we're on a very quiet cul-de-sac. There is Trago Mountain up there, so you're on the, what I consider to be the good side of the street. All the houses are well appointed, and it's very quiet. So this is a wide lot. This is the lot itself, so there's RV parking on the right hand side. And then uh, here's the house. Here's how it's situated. So we're coming up the front stairs. We have stamped concrete, which I prefer. We have a little porch area in front, which looks really nice. Gas fireplace over there, and then um, one of the entrance to the side yard there. So coming in from the entryway, we have a fur door with a transom overhead, and to the right is a nice size office that would be great for you, Jen. And it has a window overlooking the front yard and it is um what's nice about it is that the windows are right uh, low to the floor actually uh, we're entering into the main living space there are actually two living spaces in this house it has a wide plank floor gas fireplace a cathedral ceiling and entry over there to the kitchen and dining room So looking from the kitchen out, you can see the living room. It's got a really nice feel. The ceilings are 10 feet. We have a French country kitchen with pantry, a little office desk area there, and then dining room area. So I'm now in the kitchen and that's the dining room. Stainless steel appliances, just show you the pantry area. And a uh, little space, actually, probably for a toaster oven actually. A rack, lots of storage in here. Lots of cupboards. I really like this little feature here. And then outside is the um, patio and deck. And this is sort of the main part. Here's the backyard. Coming out of the kitchen, there's a really nice seating area here. And it's a flat backyard, which is nice. It's not terribly deep, but it is wide. So there's room for your dogs. Coming down from that patio area on the back side of the house, it has hardy plank siding, by the way. There is a little storage area here, which is a good size. Oh, and that's cute. They've put their hand prints and letters. And then uh, there's more backyard back here and a hot tub. That's nice with stairs up to the second floor. It's a really nice feature. The gate does open over here. I'm not entirely sure why. And then that's the slope. Okay, continuing on. This is off the recreational room at the back of the house. There is a hot tub up here and then stairs leading up to one of the bedrooms. And then on this side of the house is the raised beds. Okay, leading um, in from the form formal living room here 
Uh, under the stairs is where the hot water tank is. And then we lead into the kids' living room. And they've got built-in shelves here. And this is kind of their TV room. And then that's a doorway off to the hot tub on that side. Right off of that room is a bathroom. This is a powder room here. It's regular size. And then this is a mudroom. So there's coat closet here. This has a linoleum floor. Um, I love the folding countertops and then entry into the garage. So this is a double car garage. The um, windows are clear and there's a man door at the side there. Coming off of the laundry room and the bathroom, there's storage underneath, uh, well, beside the stairs here. And then on this side, there's a coat closet. And this leads out to the front door, just to give you perspective. So we've just walked around in a circle, and then we're gonna head upstairs. Okay, coming up the stairs, there's a little bit of a, uh, kind of like a bridge here, which looks out over the cathedral ceiling and the living room below. Uh, and then we head into the master bedroom. So they have a cute little bench seat and a king size bed in here. More perspective on the master bedroom. So I like it because it's on one side of the house and the kids' bedroom is on the other. And this is the walk-in closet. Coming from the master bedroom, on the right-hand side, we enter into the ensuite bathroom. So there's a soaker tub here. It's very private up here. There's no one looking in. So uh, you're above the neighbors below, obviously. And uh, this is the bathroom. It has one sink. It's not quite as sumptuous as yours. And then here's a shower. So it's a one piece insert. Okay, coming down the hallway, we head to bedroom number one which is about the same size room as Maddie's. It's got a little area over there and then in here is a little walk-in closet. Okay, just to give you a little more perspective, so this is bedroom number two, so there are two dressers over there. And then it also has the window seat here with the lovely drawers underneath. Um, and then this area is carpeted all up here. Okay, coming off that room, there's storage here. And then this is bedroom number two, which has a walk-in closet, it's very similar very good size bedroom. They're currently using it as a workout room. Again, the bench seat. So just outside that bedroom is storage. It's always fun to see what people shove in their closets. And then there's a linen closet right here, which is quite wide. And that's just outside the uh, bathroom. So this would be the kid's bathroom. And this also has a linoleum floor. Okay, beside that room would be what would be considered the suite or entertainment room. So this is like a third living room. Um, it's quite spacious. 
again very bright. It has a separate entry and kitchenette. There is no cooking going on up here right now. So it would be good for a bachelor suite. There is room for a bed there, but uh, not a one bedroom or two bedroom suite. And then this is the entry to that area of the house. So down to the hot tub and around there. So overall, I'd say this house has a really great feel. Um, I love the layout of the bedrooms with the master bedroom on the one side and the two other bedrooms on the other side of the house. Uh, you do have suite potential if you wanted to. I would say the only weak part of this house is maybe the bathrooms. They need maybe a little more sumptuous finishings, but otherwise it has a really great feel. Um, great neighborhood, very quiet, and the house is very comfortable. Um, I'm standing here in the living room. It just has a really great family feel, so um, two thumbs up for me on this one. Okay, if you have any questions, give me a call. Bye.